Alright folks, today we're going to try something a little different. Uh, we're going to do a recap of a battle that we had that took about 20 minutes over the last weekend. There's a small group of us, this is something that happened after hours, after ops sort of thing. There's about eight of us uh, wandering around. I'm going to go through the strategic, potentially tactical level of decision making process and we'll basically see what the plan was, how it played out and then how it was different. So we're fighting at Stone Ridge Reserve in the north of Amrish, with the NC have set up a Sundra and a Spawn on the west side of the base, and they're pushing through that south and little cliff area up to the capture point. The Vanu forces in the area are basically coming straight out of the spawn room and making their way down to the point, and they're controlling the eastern side of the base and kind of spreading down to the south. But most of the conflict is on that east to west front. At the very southern end, there's not much. Our plan was to bring a friendly Sundra of ours around, basically exit the south side, come up behind the enemies on the west side, destroy the Sunderer, and then we'd be able to make our way in and clear out any enemies that are on the point, if any were left at that point in time. Let's see how it worked out for us, shall we? So, at this point we've just talked about uh, what we're going to do, and that we're going to try and play a little um, more tactically. We try to get the squad together into the Sundra. First thing that we start running into, obviously, you can see is our airs coming at us, but we've also got people who are still a bit straggled out. So we're at the roughly the minute and a half point after we said, hey, let's do this. And we still got a couple of people just finishing their last life and their last kill streak. We managed to eventually get the squad together. <laughs> Cheeky Reaver um, shot the guys repairing the Sundra. It's pretty rude. And then he, unfortunately, hits an auto spawn before we can get him up, which is unfortunate. We could have had a handy blueberry engineer with us. But by this time, everyone does start to actually get down to the Sundra after we get ourselves repaired. And we start thinking about making our way out the south. So as you can see, there's a bit of enemy air kicking around, so we're going to have to try and keep moving to get up. There's vanguards up there, all sorts of excitement. So we're still a bit of a delay, it's now at the least two minute mark since we said hey let's do this and we've only got four, five of our squad out of the eight in the Sunday. Uh, a couple of them are blueberries so that's a fair un a fair assessment I guess. So we load up with most of us as heavies with the Nemesis and just as we're leaving a lightning comes down from that western flank and decides he wants to have a crack at us. Uh, we basically, the plan here is to deploy the Sunderer and hopefully scare the lightning off and then we get in and go on our way which kind of works, kind of doesn't. We unfortunately have someone who runs off and gets killed and despite them standing next to a deployed Sundra, uh, they're asking for a revive um, or even just spawning in the Sundra because we still have people in it and so then we end up moving around trying to sort our classes out but oh well. On the upshot we figure out that there's an enemy Sundra there just from an auto spot location just as he moves up into position. And so we have one more little go at getting ourselves set to go. And as we're about to go, we unfortunately get a whole bunch of enemy aircraft come in and start taking some pot shots at us. We dismount to try and repair and I stay in on the driving seat, start moving it around to make this under a bit of a harder target. The unfortunate side of this as well as we also get the lightning coming up shortly. But uh, we get a bit lucky with this situation and the enemy pilots get a little bit uh, cocky and the guys on the Furies are actually able to take out the Liberator and a couple of the Reavers. So we take a moment here to try and repair our Sunderer, and then that's when we still get a few of the aircraft coming in to shoot at us, and the lightning starts turning up again. So it's, it's pretty hairy, but it's the sort of thing where we just have to kind of do it to stay alive. If we had a whole squad, we probably would have been able to deal with this pretty quick. So we managed to fit, fix up the Sundra in between uh, fights and at this point, so the guys with the lock-ons are scared off a lot of the air, we basically get in the Sundra and start moving again. The lightning turns up again and the aircraft turn up again, so by this time it's getting pretty frustrating trying to do this flank because it's already like well and truly two or three minutes since the idea was formed and we're still not, we still haven't executed it basically because we've run into distractions along the way. At this point we get the opportunity, the air's kind of behind us and distracted with friendly aircraft, so we basically just start driving the Sundra up anyway, it's a little more of a risky one, but we make it. And 
So we get around to this point where we've successfully flanked the enemy Sunderer. We basically drive up, dismount and destroy it, which is great. And then we start uh, fixing it up after our little adventures and then we're starting to run low on capture timer now, but although we can't quite see it. So we get ourselves into the old Sundaruni and make our way back into the base. Now, remembering that we did see the other enemy Sundarer turn up on the auto spot, which was a bit further down the road and uh, closer to the capture point for the enemy. So we gradually make our way through all the bumps and grinds on the road. We come up on the enemy Sundarer. And we start putting some damage on him right there. We have a couple of engineers run up, drop the tank mines, heavy start putting the rockets in it, that sort of thing. We get a little bit unfocused at this point in time and distracted by the lightning. So the fury gunners basically start wolfing on the lightning, engineer sets up a turret. We eventually get a grenade set up on the Sunderer as well and that'll finally kill it. Hooray! Then at this point we get a vanguard coming down, he starts causing all sorts of havoc for us but fortunately he gets a bit uh, crazy. I do like that you rammed the turret though, that's great. Uh, we fortunately managed to bail out of the Sunderer before it gets wiped out and we're able to DPS through the eye windshield. And now at this point we've only got about 30 seconds left on the capture point. So we've got to basically beat feet to get there. Fortunately the squad is mostly together. Um, we do have a couple of people who got killed and just respawned rather than waiting for the medic to pick them up. Uh, as you can see them like way ahead at the capture point there. And so it's good and bad. Like It means that they can help on that front flank but it also means that they're less... Uh, present on our particular reverse flank, but that's okay. So let's talk about what actually happened compared to the plan. Uh, as we left the south, we had the lightning chase after us and that caused us to stop so that we could defend ourselves. That led to a knock-on effect when a whole bunch of aircraft came in to stop us and we basically spent a long time stalled just on that south flank trying to defend our Sundra before we could uh, move on. As a result of this as well, we also lost uh, eyes on the ground, basically, as to what was going on inside the base, so we didn't know if we still had the capture point or not, and without checking the map, so unfortunately because we were a bit busy with the uh, fighting, we didn't really get a chance to see that the enemy had actually managed to push up to the capture point and even up to the spawn room to a certain degree. After we seized the opportunity and made our way up, we managed to destroy the enemy Sunderer, and then we basically had to follow on with the second half of our plan, which was to push forward from their Sunderer back to the capture point to retake that. Um, fortunately, along the way, we learned that they did have a new Sunderer uh, further along that track that we were able to take out as part of that. And then we basically killed those vehicles that we ran into, and we made it to the capture point with a bit of time to spare. So after we'd finished recapturing the point, the battle came a little bit unfocused after this. So the enemy had a Sundara parked to the north of our spawn room, which whenever you do that is always a bit weird, uh, because if you're as an attacker, it means that you have to make your way down past the spawn room to get there. So the fight actually happens in between the spawn room and the Sundara instead of between the Sundara and the capture point or that sort of thing. It can be good in the sense that you might be trying to use like um, allied people who are just spawning on the Sundra randomly to try and tie up their uh, similar people. But the fear here, uh, for me as the squad leader, was that they were going to park another Sundra over in the west and have some smart players uh, make their way to the capture point, which would mean that they're more or less unopposed getting to the capture point because our players aren't getting out of the spawn room at the moment, they're all getting caught up almost immediately out there, either by that uh, HE vanguard or just by the infantry that are rolling over the hill there. So eventually, we make the decision that we're going to go back to Lithcorp Central and we're going to get ourselves some vehicles to try and help deal with this. We end up settling on two Sunderers, one repair, one ammo, with anti-air weapons on the Sunderers, and two, t two tanks, just mag riders that have got uh, anti-tank set up, so the Sauron and the FPC. So our plan, once we got the vehicles, it wasn't super, super complicated. Uh, we just wanted to start off with 
going up to the east side of the base and clear out the armor and the Sundra that was kicking around there. And that way that would free up all of our allies who were getting caught up in the spawn room. We didn't really plan much further than that, uh, given the amount of time it would take to achieve what we were after at the time. So let's see what happens, uh, how it plays out. So eventually we deployed ourselves down to Stone Ridge Reserve so that we can get a little bit of an armor column going. Uh, so we went with a Sunderer with two walkers as well as two mag riders that have got anti-tank set up. So the idea is that the Sunderer is the one that's going to protect the tanks from the air and the tanks are the ones that can protect the Sunderer from the ground. It's a pretty solid plan all up. We ended up going with the uh, Rangers on the, sorry, the walkers on the Sunderer because the idea with the walkers is that they're a bit of an easier platform to use than the Skyguard. They're cheaper because you get two of them for every Sunderer you get and Sunderers are cheaper than Lightnings as well as the fact that the the projectile velocity on ranges, on the walkers, sorry I keep getting them confused, is really high. So it's much easier for gunners to get hits on targets. Uh, if you have a Skyguard and you keep missing then it's um not that great. And Skyguards tend to be more of a they're more of a deterrent, but as soon as someone starts getting hit by them, they tend to bug out. Whereas if you have a ranger, walker, <laughs> then what happens is they'll take damage, but they might not realize just how much they can take from the walkers. So that was the idea. We got one of our guys uh, was able to deploy into the Sundra so that we could even up our things. And it basically, before we'd spawned everything, we made a bit of a inventory of how many people we had so how many seats we had to fill in the various vehicles and that sort of stuff and we also ended up getting one of the one of the blueberries in the squad uh grabbed a proximity repair sunder and started following jordan around which was awesome so we came back and started doing this before we lost the capture point at stone ridge reserve the idea is that this thing takes time everything takes time and moving vehicles is one of the slowest things in the game and we've only got four minutes to get an armor column up from the next base to try and clear out the vehicles and then we have to dismount and capture the point if that's a necessity for us. So we started early, hopefully, and hopefully that sort of thing pays off. But in the meantime, because we're not actually fighting at the base, it means that that base is now undermanned and they're more likely to lose ground towards the capture point and things like that. <laughs> Fortunately, our flank pays off. We managed to bag at least one Sunderer here. We spot the vehicles that were causing us issues over here. So the Sunderer that was keeping the fight in a weird place uh, manages to get destroyed by our mag riders here. Now, because I'm on anti-air duty with my Sunderer, I want to park it out of sight of their ground units. So just on the other side of this little hill is great. My gunners can still see the air and still shoot at it. Meanwhile, the anti-vehicle guys can take care of the vehicles crazily enough. So they start chasing off this vanguard. So at this point in time, you see something in the chat, which is uh, there's a fellow talking about how it feels like there's not as many VS fighting. And that's basically because the population counter, it only counts people in the hex. It doesn't matter if they're in vehicles or anything along those sort of lines. So what's happening here is we've got a fair few of our population are in vehicles and we don't have as much infantry fighting on the ground. Whereas the NC have got more people fighting on the ground than they do have infantry and vehicles, which is leaving that sort of side of the fights feeling a bit unbalanced. So at this point in time, we've more or less fulfilled the initial plan and we're kind of flying by the seat of our pants at this point in time. We've only got roughly two minutes left on that capture timer. The opportunity exists for us to go around and to flank the Sunderers again, like we did it the first time with our own Sunderer. Except this time we've got Mag Riders, which would be cool, but given that we're starting to run up against uh, a time premium on the capture. So instead I choose that I'm going to get the Sunderer and try and park it closer to our capture point. So the idea there is that we're trying to reduce the amount of time it takes for our people who are respawning to get from their spawn to the capture point. We want to make that faster than the NC can, which is pretty easy when you're a defender because you can park deployed Sunderers anywhere in the base and they have a radius around which they can't do that so there's always going to be a minimum travel time for the NC whereas if you're pretty crafty in most bases 
uh, you can pretty much just park right on the capture point and have your allies directly reinforced from there. So I end up moving down to do some infantry work here, just trying to help out capture the point. We also have a friendly ally who brings us under up close to the capture point on the north side there, so that helps shore up that flank because at the moment it's pretty hairy. And then our allies are kind of trying to push up with the mag riders into that um, main area there. They run into a lot of infantry, but that puts a lot of, that relieves a lot of pressure on the capture point because there's a fair amount of any enemy infantry focusing on our two mag riders rather than uh, coming up to the capture point. So this is kind of what helps us get the point back. Our mag rider guys uh, choose to use the same flank that we used at the start after this point in time. So now that we're able to and get our infantry up to the capture point, we're actually starting to form a bit of a, a battle line um, based on where all of our allies are. So we've pretty much got the capture point under control now. We still have to kill their Sunderer, um, but because we have got the vehicles heading around and distracting their infantry, it's not as crazy on the capture point as it was. I think at this point in time, we also have the Vanguard that was shooting into the capture point. He's back again, um, but unfortunately he's escaped my notice at this point in time just because uh, we're a bit busy trying to kill stuff. So the comms are going quite well at this point in time. We're basically keeping in touch with where the mag riders are and what it's like on the capture point. And we're in that situation where we can just kind of trust that it's all going to happen. We've got it under control at this point in time, saving any major players from the NC. Uh, they, it looks pretty good like we're going to get the base back. So at this point, our two mag riders and a random lightning have gone up and flanked those Sunderers that are over on the west of the base, and we've managed to spot an enemy Sunderer that they've pulled in a bit closer and deployed. So there's enemies coming out of that Sunderer. There's a couple of different ways to deal with it, and at this point in time, the one that no one did uh, that's probably the easiest is that the place that they parked that Sunderer is actually very close to the exit of the teleporter from the spawn room. So. You just have to go to the spawn room, go through the teleporter, and then when you come out, you'll have a really good shot at that uh, Sunderer's flank. Whereas in this particular case, I mean, we still get it. Um, but if we were in a super efficient kind of way, that's another way to have gotten that Sunderer, basically. And then after this point, uh, it comes to my attention that there's a Vanguard shooting that Sunderer that we have deployed in the north. Uh, so I then inform the Mag Rider drivers of our squad that he's up there and they pretty much respond quite straight away um, making a move to try and get him out of there it's they don't even have to kill him it's just the fact that they're paying attention to him means that he has to pay attention to them or he'll die so he either dies or he stops attacking uh, the infantry that are fighting in the base so either way whatever happens you're already on on the up and up so let's talk about what actually happened as opposed to the plan we made our way up on that east side, we did kill the vehicles there, and the aircraft that came through we contributed to, we didn't straight up kill them, but I think we certainly helped make the air a little more uh, hostile for the NC. After this, we moved our way, we moved our Sundra down to the south area, just near the capture point, and deployed that to help with the reinforcement time for the capture point and to sort of stabilise the battle line. The mag riders kept fighting up on that south road to try and get to the enemy Sunderers. By virtue of them doing that, it reduced the amount of NC that were making their way directly to the point, so it kind of helped our reinforcements there. After the Mag Riders fell back the first time through that south road, they then decided that they'd flank all the way around the south side of the base, so outside around the cliffs, and then they came at those Sunderers and tanks and things like that from the west side and destroyed them. Uh, during this time, we'd also been resecuring the point with infantry from our Sunderer and the Allied Sunderer. We then had the enemy vanguard turn up in the east, and our mag riders went over to clear him out. And by that time, we had enough infantry around the point to destroy that last enemy Sunderer that made their way into the base, which was deployed just south of the spawn room teleporter exit. So, overall, 
it went really well as far as plans go. Uh, it was pretty simple to start with, and then we kind of improvised the second half, but it did work out. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful, and be excellent to each other.